as in the previous video we have noticed like we started creating the WCF service from the scratch but we do have a predefined template of ASP.NET WCF website so now let's see how we can start creating a WCF service using the predefined template of ASP.NET so let's get started with that one now to create the ASP.NET web WCF service what I'll have to do is again I'll have to come to file new website and here you will get an option of WCF service in the ASP.NET itself so as we have already discussed ASP.NET in a separate video series if you are not aware of that you can go and watch that particular series for getting the idea about ASP.NET but here I'll just focus on the WCF itself so here as you can see the web location is HTTP that means it will directly be created in localhost you don't need to deploy it later so this is the location if you want you can rename the service like sample WCF web service as soon as you will click on OK it will create the website of WCF service so now as I have chosen the template from the Visual Studio I got some pre-written code here like under app underscore food code folder I got a couple of files like iService which is nothing but an interface decorated with service contract and a class which has implemented this iService so which we have seen in the previous video this is the basic structure which we follow but obviously I'll not use this particular files here I'll use my own code to create the file so I'll just delete these two files now you'll have to add your own interface and class and you'll have to write the code which will help you to create a WCF service in my case I have already done that in the previous program in the previous video so I'll, I can go for the existing item as well and here I'll browse to that particular location that is documents Visual Studio 2015 and here I'll get the sample WCF service which I just created so here I can choose these two files I user.cs and user.cs now it is already here you can see the code it's the same code which I have used and since I have chosen the template system dot service model namespace will be here by default as you can see I am not getting any error in the service contract and operation contract and the service model namespace is already here it's the reference has already been added and similarly the same code which I have written if you in case you want to create you can just add right click over the project you can come to add new item you can choose a class here and can start writing the code as soon as you will add the class file this app underscore code folder will be added automatically now the reason why we are here to see this ASP.NET website for the WCF service is once you are done with that you still have to do one change and for that change you will have to come to this service.svc file this service.svc file is basically the service file which will help you by the time you will host or by the time you will consume the web service so now here what you can do is you'll have to make some couple of changes first is the service attribute you can see the directive service host which is having the language C sharp true debug true and uh, service is equal to service what is that basically this is the name of the class in the auto generated f code we have the class named service but now as per my new code the name of my class is user so what I'll have to do I'll just use the same name in the value right here so I just change that with the user and again app where you will find this particular class it is code behind app code folder and service.cs and now still service.cs is not there it is user.cs so I'll have to again change that to user.cs 
So now uh, we are done with the code of creating the WCF website but before deploying it we'll have to come here in the web.config and help, we'll have to make some changes in this configuration which we will do by the time we'll start hosting the WCF service in the various ways. So that is all for this particular video.